Well, it's 11 p.m. and I've got an early day at work tomorrow, but I can probably fit in a half hour of Netflix. Uh, I can probably fit in another half hour. Why would I want to watch a new show? I mean, I already know what's good because I've seen it before. Where's the fun in watching a show if you don't already know every line of dialogue? Right? Well, it's finally over with Tiffany. She changed the Netflix password and didn't even tell me. Maybe I should try to get back with her, you know? That's like $9 a month I'm gonna have to pay now. Why would I pay money for Netflix when I can get TV for free with my antenna? Look, here's PBS. Antiques Roadshow. Wow, that guy's cigar box is worth $37. That's entertaining. Married at first sight? That's an excellent idea. It just cuts out all the crap, gets right to the point. There's none of this, uh, how do I feel about this person? Uh, I'm not sure. No, none of that. I wonder how I can apply to be a contestant. I've spent three hours on Netflix. Two and a half of those hours were spent just browsing through the selection. The other half hour was watching the first five minutes of a bunch of movies before getting bored. Looks like my friend who shares this account with me has terrible taste in film. He's watching a bunch of Hallmark Christmas movies and it's only October. I mean, come on, too jolly for Christmas, but with the numbers two and four rather than the words spelled out? I really need to reevaluate this friendship. My girlfriend and always wants to binge the stupidest reality shows. The only way I can get through them is to binge the finest handcrafted whiskey. I don't really care what I'm watching as long as there are snacks. The only problem is I have to turn on the subtitles because I can't understand what's being said over the sound of my chewing. Good. I mean, popcorn. Oh my gosh, I binge so many shows. There's a killer among us. Oh, hey, how's it going? No, I'm just watching some TV. You're such a bad dancer. <laughs> oh, my butt. Wait, what's going on? I can't even use my own Netflix account because I gave my password to several of my closest friends and they're all logged in right now. Hope they're watching something good. Guess I'll just, uh read a book or something. Well, the internet's out. I guess since I can't vegetate in front of the TV, I could go outside for a walk or go to the gym or call a friend I haven't talked to in a long time. Or I could use my phone as an internet hotspot so I can continue to watch Netflix. That's brilliant. Okay, Netflix, you know I already got a half hour into this movie. So why are you starting me from the beginning again? Are you just trying to screw around with me? Cause I know that you know. Why are you trying to make my life so difficult? Netflix. I just found the best Netflix original reality show. It's called The Great Million Dollar Cake Makeover Date. So these contestants go to a multi-million dollar mansion, then they have two hours to bake and decorate a cake, and then they go on a shopping spree and get a makeover, and then they go on a date with the baker who had the most compatible cake. The only thing that can make it better? I don't know. Tigers? How can anyone skip the intro? The intro of a show is like the initiation of a ritual. It is bringing us into the world of the show. Skipping the intro would be like skipping birth. Like, oh, there's a baby. Don't know where he came from, but there he is. Guess I'll name him uh, Michael Scott. I don't know. When I'm looking for a new movie, it's gotta have three things. No big name actors, a depressing story, and no resolution of the plot. Basically anything that's like my life.